talking about the classics or whatever you know he's even appeared with batman a few times in comic books i'm not talking about that sherlock holmes i'm talking about the rampaging coke addict sherlock holmes known as robert downey jr i find nothing redeemable about iron man i fucking hate iron man i fell asleep during iron man i don't even remember five minutes of the film iron man 2 has two former coked out actors mickey rourke kind of made a comeback a beautiful film in the wrestler and now he's gone back to shitty films like Iron Man 2. This film will not be epic. This film will not be good. I don't care if you're a comic aficionado. Robert Downey Jr. is not an actor. He's a sad example of what stardom did to people in the 80s. Now onwards towards criticizing, you know, criticizing the film. I can't even talk right. As you know, I have dyslexia. I pointed that out before. But oh my god, this film is terrible. Logan fell asleep. Okay, the fucking projector towards the end of the film when the quote-unquote conclusion came, not that it was the first conclusion or the last conclusion because there were like five conclusions to the fucking film. It just refused to fucking end. It, it drove me into a bitter madness. I just wanted to bang my fucking head against the chair over and over again in front of me. I just, I hated that film so much nothing happens in the time that you're watching they try to add intrigue guy ritchie let me tell you something adding some satanist dude as a bad guy doesn't make the plot any more interesting it doesn't even make it remotely interesting when you have an adulterer in jude law as you know the you, i can't even think of what to describe him with because you hardly even see him in the film Besides, uh, quote-unquote, witty retorts between him and Sherlock Holmes. Right now, if you could see me, I'm sitting much like that engraved image in the Silver Surfer video game and the Angry Video Game Nerds review. Sitting here with, a, with my hand supporting my head, and I'm just trying to hold back the tears and it's like repressed memories like of a tragic event that you don't want to recall Sherlock Holmes is that kind of movie you, you may think the rotten review I can't even talk rotten tomato reviews do it justice telling you oh it's a great film no they've either been bought out or we're not seeing the same fucking film it went on forever when it did end I didn't know what to do with myself. I hated myself for going through that. My brother hasn't talked to me in months because I took him to see that. My other friend completely ignores me now for taking him to see that. So you can thank Guy Ritchie for ruining my life because there's a, a bar between terrible films and, and horrible films, and this is a horrible film. This film gets not even one limping Watson out of five. This film gets nothing. This film is a fucking zero, okay? I hope to God this is not a franchise deal because I will go to the Brooklyn Bridge and fucking jump into the ocean to save myself the horror of accidentally seeing a film to see a trailer for a second one of these. The plot isn't even there. That You know the guy isn't invincible. You know it's all parlor tricks. You figure this out before Sherlock Holmes does. He's the detective. Something is amiss here. I, I, this fucking film is garbage. I'm I'm done reviewing it. Don't fucking see it. If you do, you you just willingly are being handed a pile of shit to shove in your face. The, uh, oh my god. It, it it's fucking terrible. I there's no other way to s describe what that film is it's just terrible the, the fight scenes are f it's like watching a bargain bin steven seagal film only he has some sort of 
sick charm to him. This film has none of that. There's no charm. There's nothing. It goes on forever. I, I've said that already, but you don't understand how long it feels when you're watching the film. It's not like Shutter Island. It's not a good long film like Benjamin Button. No, this is a fucking heap of shit being fucking thrown at your face at 100 miles per hour. I hate that fucking film. I never want to see it again. When it's released on DVD, I will find people in the streets and I will cry and go, how can you support this atrocity against humanity? I'm done with this fucking review. It, it's, it's making me miserable just thinking about that fucking film.